Well, of course, you know, if you see my face, that means the entertainment world has been buzzing and the Ibo Blondie is ready to serve you the entertainment dish on Breakfast Central. Now, let's take off with the Domitila trademark saga that had Anne and Jermanze and Zeb Adriel at each other's throats for some time now. Now, it's quite interesting that the lead character of a movie thought it wise to have a trademark battle with the producer of the movie over the ownership of the brand Domitila, demanding 50 million naira in compensation. Anyways, last week it was announced that Zeb Adriel won the trademark case at the tribunal, as the tribunal had can has cancelled Anne and Jermanze's registration of Domitila as a trademark. Now, as straight as to the point as that might sound, Zeb insists that Anne and Jemanze must tender an apology to him. In other words, he will not relent in his resolve to see to the end of the matter. Now, despite being advised to settle the matter out of court, he says, I give glory, all glory to God, even as the case is still in court. I'm ready to go all out to prove to the world that I am the rightful owner of the copyright of Domitila. I'm personally, you know, interested and looking forward to see how this entire story pans out because the entire thing is just quite funny to me. Now, let's move on a little bit to the music scene here in Nigeria, where there's big news for Nigerian Afrobeat singer Divine Ikubo, professionally known as Rema, who has made his debut in the Guinness World Book of Records. Of course, he pulled off this feat with his global record-breaking hit song, Calm Down, which made history as the first number one hit on the official MENA chart, which is the world's first regional streaming chart and first ever official chart in the Middle East and North Africa. Now this feat was, was, which was rec recognized by the Guinness World Records and announced recently in a statement on its website sees Rema join the likes of Femi Kuti, Wizkid, Mode Nan and other Nigerians with the Guinness World Record. Now this is a huge congratulations to Rema because he has been making rounds and numbers with Calm Down. I can't wait to see how far this goes. Now while we was still talking about making history, Nigerian superstar Tiwa Savage bloomed graciously on stage while performing Keys to the Kingdom at the Star Study concert on the East Lawn at Windsor Castle. On Sunday the 7th of May 2023, following the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla on Saturday the 5th, the 6th of May 2023. Now, I could go on and on about how spectacular her performance was, but absolutely nothing beats watching it for yourself, so let's check that out. It's her entire performance for you guys. I absolutely love it. Now, we recall that the American superstar Beyonce featured Tiwa Savage and Mr. Easy on this song in the Lion King album, and I think it was just perfect for this occasion. Now, she was gorgeously dressed, you know, clothed in a dress by Larry Da Silva, and her performance was accompanied by an orchestra that included violinists, drummers, and backup singers who sang in Yoruba language. This, I must say, was the best part for me. Absolutely, absolutely love this part continuously i mean i just want to hear for, from olive and us i mean this performance if you got to see this performance what was it like for you because this for me was everything very proud really very very proud of uh, tiwa for making raising the nigerian flag and even proud of that she wore green exactly green, she reminded us of, of the nigerian flag tiwa is a queen all day any day she looked very gorgeous in that dress you know it was almost 900 years old uh, before she passed, you know, wow. and so I don't think anybody alive today, well, not very many people alive today got to see her coronation. And so for Tiwa's name to be a part of the history, this very historical moment yeah. is something huge. So I'm super, super, super proud of her. Um, and well, Prince Charles, well, anyway, Absolutely. there will be another one soon. That's my point. Oh, oh sir. Well, so what does that mean? I didn't watch the coronation. I have anymore. no yeah. idea what okay. you talk about. Because, I I'm mean, not, the I'm, current king, the current king, is already his his in his evening time, you know. And so I'm showing sure another. My maybe, uncle, maybe, is my uncle you're talking about? <laughs> please leave one of uncle Charlie alone. <laughs> in another maybe 15 years, you know, Max, you know, 20. Well years. done, oh, supreme creator. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. let's okay, also let's talk, talk about the Zebedrews. So I feel bad, you know, seeing uh, you know th th these two legends. Um, fight over, you know, one of the movies that made our childhood. It's, it's really, really heartbreaking. Um, I hope that they can figure things out, you know, and we can put this to, a, to an end. I mean, I personally feel like, I mean, suing the producer for 50 million for a movie that is originally his, when you, she trademarked the exact year where he actually, you know, they announced that they were going to do a remake. That was the year, 2020. That was the year she trademarked the name after the announcement. So it's, it's kind of fishy because it looks like you actually intended to do something like that to them. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I, I think both of them understand, you know, I don't know the legal, you know, parts of all, some of all of this, you know, what really went on, you know, but my point is, you know, and in Jamanze and of course, Zebe Jiro, those are names we knew in the 90s, you know, yeah. these are movies that we that we grew up with. Yeah, these are, exactly. you know, some of the people that were part of the movies that we grew up with. And so it's even great seeing that Zebe Jiro is still, you know, alive and kicking. You know, I'm, I'm excited about that part, you know, same yeah. thing with, with them and Jamanze. You know, I just wouldn't like to see them, you know, having, uh, having to go at each other. Um, I would rather, you know, that they're creating more movies and they're making more exactly. remakes and some of all of that. That yeah. would be more fun. Yeah, that would be more fun. Let's let's see how it ends, you know. Is that a 500 million naira or an apology? So let's see. We'll see. All right. Thanks a lot for stopping by and good to see you. Evil Thank Blondie. you very much.